From the top of the 222 building on College Avenue in downtown Appleton, it's Varsity Roundtable with Ricardo Arguello, Brett Christofferson, Jim Rosendick. On tonight's show, brilliant basketball players Peyton Howe, Jeremy Lorenz, McKenna Dietrich, Olivia Shute, and Megan Schumann. Ladies and gentlemen, Ricardo Arguello. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Varsity Roundtable Weekly Look at High School Sports in the Fox Valley area and the only live online high school sports talk show uh, in the state. I'm Ricardo Arguello, part of the USA Today Network Wisconsin digital live stream team and we are here in amazing high definition on the 10th floor of the 222 building. We call it uh, the mothership of the Post Crescent. Uh, we are excited to have this week. We're, we're keeping our focus on basketball. And we figured, ah, we're not going to just have one team here. We're going to have two teams here from the same town, from the city of Brilliant. <laughs> or is it town of Brilliant? Is it a town, city, town? City. Either way, uh, and by the way, that was not prompted. They, they did that on their own. So I just want to let everyone know there's a wide shot. Uh, the, the entire town of Brilliant is here for this very special show <laughs> because we have the brilliant girls basketball team and the brilliant boys basketball team here to talk about the great season that they both are having uh, here on the Varsity Roundtable. But before we start, I wanna let everyone know that we are live and interactive. So if you have any questions uh, for either, uh, any of the five uh, athletes here on the show, be sure to log in. Uh, we should have to see a chat application if you're looking at this on a tablet or a desktop or anything like that. Log in, give yourself a name. Let people know who's asking the questions. And then we have Brett Christofferson over there behind uh, the Dell computer. He's, uh, he'll be monitoring that chat for, for everyone. And then we have Jim Rosendick also behind the live stream machine. He's kind of punching buttons, doing all the technical stuff. So uh, we're in good hands there. But let's, let's uh, first get a little bit of an intro for our, our <clears throat> excuse me, our five athletes. So closest to my right, we have McKenna Dietrich. McKenna, say hi to everyone. There we go, yes. Then next to her, Megan Schumann. Megan. Hello. Then next to her, Elena Schwan. Did I say that right? Yes. Yes. Don't forget about Kate and Holly right here. Look at them. And then my man, Jeremy Lorenz, right? Look at them. Look at how excited they are. They're, they're very excited. I know it might not look like that. But they're very excited to be here. But uh, I also introduce, again, Rosie, get that big shot of the, look at that. The teams are here. Look at them. They're ready to watch and support uh, the brilliant Lions here. And uh, they have many a good question, correct? So we'll get that underway as well. But let's get to know our athletes a little bit. And the way we do that, well, we're going to go right down the line here. We're going to start here with McKenna. McKenna, let everyone know the position or positions that you play and how you got into playing basketball. Go ahead. Uh, I'm a four and five. I'm a post and a guard. And uh, both of my parents play basketball. And I also grew up with both of my older brothers playing basketball. Okay, good stuff. Megan? Uh, I'm Megan. I am primarily a five, but I also play a little bit guard positions depending on what we need. Um, my parents always played basketball, and then I always grew up around friends playing basketball as well. So. Okay, great. Elena? I'm Elena. I play mostly two, three spots, sometimes the one when we need it. And I got into basketball in third grade with all my friends played it at Trinity, and Coach Dietrich as our coach early on. Okay, good stuff. Now I'll go over to the boys' side a little bit. Go over there, Jeremy. Jeremy, let everyone know position, positions you play, how you got into basketball. Um, forward, and I really got into basketball. My dad played it, and he played in college, and then... I had five older siblings who all played, a couple were on the state championship team, so just wasn't really an option for me growing up. <laughs> no other way. Okay, how about for you, Caden? Go um, ahead. I'm a guard on the team, and I mean, I got into basketball by watching my parents play and seeing brilliant state championship run when I was younger, so I want to be a part of that. Okay, great stuff. Again, here with brilliant boys and girls basketball. If you have any questions, log into that live chat. And audience, if you have any questions for your teammates uh, just raise your hand we'll get you on camera you're just gonna have to shout out the question a little bit so everyone can hear you coaches too I see we have some coaches here uh, as well let's talk about the great seasons you both have been having let's start with the girls we'll follow with the boys just talk about the expectations coming in uh, we knew you were a very good team I think you guys have one loss in the season are you guys kind of where you at where you thought you'd be right before you start the season you girls 
playing at the high level that you kind of thought. We'll start here with McKenna, and then we'll just go down the line. You want to repeat your question? Okay. How no, well do you think? A long question. I'm I know. Sorry. How well do you think you're playing? Are you at the level where you thought you'd be before you started the season? Yeah, I think we're playing our hearts out. I think we pl play like one game at a time. Okay. All right, McKenna. Megan. Megan, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was McKenna. I'm um, just answering. Yeah, I would agree with Dietrich. We're always working our hardest, but I think we have room to improve, and we can always like keep building after win. Okay, Elena. Yeah, it's a good start to the season. Like Megan said, always building off that, and we made it pretty deep in the playoffs last year and hope to do that again and get further this time. Okay, all right. Now let's switch over to the boys. Now you guys were coming off the you know, the state appearance last year. Jeremy, high expectations again this year. Great team, both girls and boys. Are uh, you guys at where you think you'd be when you started the season? Uh, I'd say I'm pretty happy with where we're at so far. Obviously, coming into the year, we knew that we were going to have big ex expectations in every game. We are going to be getting the other team's best, so makes it a little more difficult, but I think we've done a good job of staying focused and going into every game just one win at a time and just focus on the task at hand and then not getting, a, and not getting ahead of ourselves and okay. just going into every game like it's an important one. How about for you, Kate? Um, I think we should be where we're at. I mean, obviously we have to handle one game at a time and just get back to where we were last year and hopefully bring home the state championship. One game at a time, Brett. Uh, they're very well versed. Good job, coaches, having the players all talk about what's most important. You're going to let me know, Brett, right, when you guys. It, it, I know we have a big audience watching, but it's very quiet and chat. Oh, right come now, on. So. You know you got questions yeah. for these five. Come on. Come on, online. Let's get going here. Um, what was that experience like? We'll go switch back over to the boys here. What was that experience like going to the state tournament uh, over at the Cole Center? I went down there and helped cover you guys. But uh, what do you remember most, Caden, about that whole kind of journey getting to the Cole? Um, it was tough. I mean, a big game before that was our freedom game in sectional finals. Mm -hmm. um, that kind of helped us going along the way. But the thing I most remember most is being at, with the team in the hotel and then when we first arrived at the Cole Center, walking through the tunnel. That was a big part of my experience at the Cole Center. Okay, how about for you, Jeremy? Yeah, I'd say it was really just kind of like a dream come true. Um, obviously, we didn't get job done down job done down there, but you know, growing up seeing my brothers play down there, it was always a goal, and I always wanted to get down there. So to actually get to experience it was just awesome, and lived up to the hype. And and then, like Caden said, even just like the the hotel and just getting to spend a night with the team and just bond with them, go out to eat, that kind of stuff. It just it was a really good time. All right, good stuff again here with Brilliant Boys Basketball, the Brilliant Boys Basketball Team, and the Brilliant Girls Basketball Team. Crowd, if you guys have a question, right? Remember, i got to raise your hand. All right. Brett, do you have anything from online? Kind of quiet. Come on, you know you got questions for the players uh, here. Um, you know, so what? We're, it, we're kind of entering the bulk of the, of the conference season for both uh, boys and girls. You talked about it one at a time, and I understand this, but uh, are there anything in particular that you think maybe you got to work on? We'll start here with the girls and start uh, farther on down here. Elena, if you want to, and we'll come work this way. Are, is there any specific things you think you girls got to work on the rest of the season? Yeah, it's just every game coming out with the highest energy possible and bringing our best every time. And we got a few tough games coming up yet to finish the conference season off, so it'll be fun. All right, Megan, anything to add? Um, yeah, I agree. I think a lot of our keys to like being successful would be getting it in the post and then kicking it back out because that's one of our strongest things. So just continuing to do that and improve on it. Okay. McKenna, anything to add? Uh, sickness and health. Ah, <laughs> very, very important. We'll switch it over to the guys too on that. I mean, you guys have kind of made that state journey so you kind of know what you guys got to do, but uh, anything specific? you feel you need, you need to defend better on the perimeter? Anything specific come to mind, Jeremy? I wouldn't say there's anything specific, but as a whole, we can always improve just everything, turnovers, you can always defend better, you can always shoot better, but we've been doing things pretty well so far, but obviously you can always improve, so yeah. it's just focusing on every part of the game. And what about you, Kate? I mean, you help run the offense at, at guard there. What, what are your thoughts on that? Um, just keeping the ball moving, and as a team, we've been shooting very well from the field and the three-point line, so continuing to do that will help us along the way. Okay, great stuff. Brett, we do have, okay, here we go. Now we're going over to Cyber World. Could be billions watching. You never know. Brett, what do you have? Well, we have uh, John Zelenik. I hope I'm saying that last name right. But uh, question for Jeremy. He wants to know what kind of shoes are you repping tonight? Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, can we see the shoe? Okay. Shoe now, now, don't be dropping shoes. I don't know if sure oh. what the, was that was your phone, but yeah, okay. Oh, Lor yeah, Lawrence, right. he's going to show right away. Get it on camera there. You got to lift up your leg a little bit. Oh, he's got the Jordan. Okay. Jordan, oh. There we go. Yep. Red toe. Yep. Repping the red and white. 
Okay, very oh, nice. I, I like it came out. You had to show them. Ricardo, you like that, right? I do. I have a pair very similar to those. Nice uh, shoes. Yeah, they're great. And no, I'm not old enough to wear the originals. I did actually buy them retros. Uh, how about for you, Caden? What do you, what do you got on? Just a pair of Nike Donks. Okay. You can, you can go ahead. Lift it up. Let's see what you got. Come on. Show that flexibility. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bring it this way. This is a, now this is a special part of our show where everyone show. Oh, those are nice, right? Yeah, really match colors. the colors and everything. And, and the girls, you got over here. Over here, uh, Elena, what, what are you repping there? You got the hey dudes on. <laughs> okay, okay. Meg? Got the Air Force shadows on. Yes. All right. I have no idea what these are. <laughs> <laughs> <Nike> tennies. <laughs> tennies, <laughs> okay. <Nike> tennies. <laughs> All right, good stuff and a good question from online. Brett, did you have something yeah, else? Yeah, let's do this uh, no name here, which is good for me, right? Uh, what has been your favorite game to play this season? I think we can ask both the boys and the girls. Yeah, let's start with the girls. Uh, any game kind of in particular? We're talking about games that you've played already. Anything stick out for you, Megan? Uh, the new Holstein game okay. in the first round of playoffs. Um, not playoffs, but... Um, yeah, but that was a super fun game. We competed the whole time, and then we ended up on a buzzer beater, so that okay. was super exciting. Very cool. Mm -hmm. How about you, McKenna, Elena? Anything to add? Playing Keel is always a fun time, just because they got us once last year, so we always bring the energy, and that's always a fun game. Okay. I have to agree with Megan this year versus New Holstein. Okay. All right, good stuff. Guys, Jeremy, anything stick out? Uh, not necessarily one that sticks out a ton, but obviously I'd say if I had to choose one, it would be Keel at home. First okay. time we played them, I mean, any time you play a good conference team, that they were undefeated coming in, so they had big goals to stay undefeated. So just any high-level game is always fun to play in. Okay, how about for you, Caden? Um, our game against Kettle Marine Lutheran, uh, it was ah. a tough non-conference game, and we got to travel down to Mequon to play at Concordia University. Okay. So it was a fun experience. Very cool, them. very good. And, and, and any questions from the audience? Anybody have anything in mind? Why are you guys so shy? You guys weren't shy when you were here. Off camera, now all of a sudden uh, they're they're all mutes. Britt, you have something? Yeah, somebody named Hoppy, H-O-P-P-E. Yeah. <laughs> they know who that is, apparently. Yes. Wants to know who can bench the most on the boys' team. I want to know who's, who's the strongest guy. Now we're going on the honor system here because we don't have a bench set here for you to display that strength. But, Caden, uh, who, who who benches? I'd have to go Bennett Olsen. Is, is Bennett here? Yeah, he's right there. <laughs> Get the camera on. Where, where are you? Where are you, Bennett? <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> oh, so he's the Hulk of the team is what you're saying. Oh. Okay, you agree with that, Lawrence? I mean, uh, Bryce Gans might have an argument, but, you know, he likes to show it off a little more. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I don't uh -huh. I don't know. Picking either one of them is kind of tough for me. Because they're, yeah. they're both just Hulks, right? I mean, it's Something really like hard. That, yeah. Really, yeah, I get it. It's uh, difficult. Yeah, sure. Good, stuff. Good question, too, Brett. Did you have anything yeah, else? Yeah, let's do one more. It's either from... Dot or period, that's all that's on there. But uh, favorite team to play and why, and when on the road, what opponent creates the toughest atmosphere to play at? Ooh, that's a two, two questions. Oh, oh, God. We'll start here with the boys. So favorite team to play and who has the best environment when you're on the road? We'll start here with Caden. Um, my favorite team to play is Ron Okay. Uh, pretty good conference. They're pretty good in conference overall. Yeah. Um, I mean, playing at their place is always tough. They always bring a lot of people there okay. and pack the gym, and it's very loud. Okay, how about for you, John? You know, my answer is pretty much the exact same. Ron Colley's favorite team to play. They've had our number the last few years, unfortunately, but obviously we got them once last year, and then obviously just playing at Ron Colley, the jet hangar they call it, it's, it's known as the toughest place to play in the conference, <laughs> and they, they always make it a tough environment. Ron Colley people are a little annoying, aren't they? Just a little bit. <laughs> That's just <laughs> from my personal experience. You guys don't have to agree. Yeah. Yeah, some problem. of them are a little annoying. I, I find them a little annoying. Okay, I can say that because yeah, I'm, not, I'm not playing them. But okay, how about for you ladies, though? Uh, any, any team come to mind when you talk about a favorite team and then toughest place to play? We'll start here with McKenna. Uh, my favorite team is probably New Holstein. Okay. Just always a good competition. Okay. But uh, definitely Chilton is the toughest entire, uh, oh, environment. Okay, okay. How about for you, Megan? Yeah, my favorite would probably be Keeler and Holstein, and then the toughest would be probably Chilton again, just because okay. they have the student section right behind the hoop. So yeah, that, mm -hmm. that that's cool, very cool. How about for you? Yeah, I'd agree. Keeler and Holstein usually are toughest opponents, but Chilton's been good the last few years. That's a tough place to play, and like the boys said, Ron Colley, that's always a hard gym to go to. So okay, all right, good stuff. Good questions from online. Let's talk about the roster and what's their chemistry like. We're gonna start with the girls here on this. Uh, all your girls are here. Uh, Rosie, show another shot on your right. You got all your teammates here, but I need you to—I need you to tell me the truth, though. Is there any drama going on? 
You got anything going on? Or is the chemistry really solid? Now, come on, you're talking to me now. How's the chemistry, Megan? Oh, we beef a lot. Okay. <laughs> just, but it's good, right? You get it out. constant, just beating each other up. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. See, you actually had me there for a second. Oh, yeah. But, uh, right. but it sounds like you guys all get along, right? All mm -hmm. you ladies, okay. Yeah. All right, good. I was hoping maybe there would be something you could talk about, but maybe not. How about, uh, you agree with that, McKenna, Elena? Yeah. yeah. Okay, no, no. All right, no. How about for you? Come on, man. You guys, some of these guys got to be annoying over here, right? Look at you guys over here. <laughs> oh, How yeah. about the Hulksters over there? Can we here. get the camera on the group over there? Yeah. Go point them out. Bennett and Schwartz, you with the long hair there. Yeah. They, like, <laughs> they like to try to get under their skin, so during practice, we get into it. And okay. But but all the right, chemistry is great. As a yeah, I, I, when we're playing together as a team, it's great. But in practices, definitely get into it and try to get under each other's skin. Of course, I mean that good naturedly. You can't be as good as you guys are and not have great team chemistry. And I'm sure that starts from the top down, right, coaches? Take credit for it. Go ahead. Come on, Brett. You have something else online? Two. I got two from Art Vandelay, Ricardo. Oh, There's great. a Seinfeld okay. reference yeah. there, right? But uh, first one is uh, for the guys. Rumor has it that Coach Benke is the assistant to the traveling secretary. <laughs> what does he do in that role? You want to take it? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, um, so basically, after every game, we go a quick trip, and he just finds what quick trips available and has okay. the most food. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, you pretty not much nailed it. He takes care of the after road games, quick trip stops, lets us know if, well, he talks to us if we want to stop, and he lets us know if, they're known to be a good or bad quick trip. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> so it just helps us in our decisions. So there's good and bad quick trips. Huh? Oh, yeah. And you guys have experienced oh, that. Yeah. I have yet to really experience that. But, hey, I'll take your word for it, though. Wow. <laughs> By the way, quick trip's one of our sponsors. No, I'm just kidding. They're not our sponsors. They should be, though. They should be, right. Uh, and wait, uh, you had something else? Now we have one for the girls' okay. team. What personal and team goals do you have for the season? Personal team goals. We'll start all the way over there at Elena and go this way. Yeah, firstly would be going for the third time in a row, conference champs, and okay. that'll be tough but we can do it again okay and then personal just getting better every game okay Megan yeah for a team goal definitely go one game farther than we did last year and right. hopefully take it all the way to state and then personal probably just getting stronger in the post okay kind of um, yeah conference for sure okay. and just making a deep playoff run and personal is trying to set the new record for three-point makes Nice. Are you close? Do you think you, you think you're I'm, get I'm on the board. Oh wow. Okay. Very nice. Hey, we, let's give her a little. She's on the board. <laughs> let's hope you get that. That'd be very exciting to do. Brett, did you say you had let's something? Let's do on? one on Facebook from okay. Mason Benke uh, for the guys. Uh, does everyone on the team own a pair of jeans? That's a question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I think this year that problem's taken care of, Mason. I think. Parker's got himself a pair of jeans this year. Grady's got some jeans, I think. So <laughs> I think that problem's been resolved. Okay, well, that's good. good. Crisis averted then, if that's, that is the case. Hey, uh, let's uh, come back over my way, Brett, here. Uh, we're going to talk about coaches here, right? Uh, what, and, and Okay, let's, let's start with the girls here. It, it, am I saying this right? Is it Coach Capel? Capel, am I saying it? Capel, what was that? Capelli. Capelli, Coach Capelli. And then we'll talk about Coach Schimmick in a little bit. But Coach Capelli, what, what can you tell me about Coach? Now, don't tell me he's a good coach. I know he's a good coach, right? I want to know some dirt. What can you tell me? Is he? <laughs> is he? Does he? Is there a little quirkiness about Coach? You know, does does he have, does he always have to drink Diet Coke? I don't know. Just tell me something that people might not know. Maybe not so much dirt. Something people might not know. So you can start here, McKenna. Me. Yeah. Um, he's got two kids. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, some people might not know that, I guess. All right. But what? But you have something you don't know? I don't, I don't have dirt on my coat. Well, you don't have to have dirt. I mean, something, an interesting quirk or something like that. Oh. Megan. Um, after game nights, he cannot sleep, so he watches film till okay. like yeah. the morning. So. Okay. See, that's, that's a good thing, coach. You're dedicated, right? Yeah. Is what mm -hmm. you're saying. All right, yeah. Elena. Sometimes he's got some good little one-liners. Yeah. Okay. So he's comedic. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Is that true, Coach? You consider yourself a <laughs> comedian? Okay. <laughs> good stuff. All right. So we got a good start here. Now about Coach Shimmick, Caden, and Jeremy. What can you tell me about Coach that people might not know? You don't have to mention anything salacious. He likes to use some great similes, like a crumbling like a cookie or oh, okay, drowning in a baby pool. Okay. 
<laughs> he always yeah keeps us grounded with stuff like that but good intentions but sometimes make us chuckle with the stuff he comes up with interesting good stuff how about you kid i agree with jeremy i don't have much else to add to that okay all right good stuff got a little bit of something to work with there but did you have something else before we yeah, go let's uh, keep going to... uh let's do well, you, maybe you kind of talked about it, but Dot or Period wants to know what stands out the most about your coaching staff. So maybe instead of the dirt, what do you like about uh, yeah, what they bring so, to the so table? Yeah, do the, what can you tell me? We'll start with the girls here again. Anything you, you can tell me about why why they, I guess, connect with you guys? What makes them stand out? Uh, we'll start over there with Elena. Yeah, they all bring something a little different, and they all work together well. And certain coaches focus on different positions or different areas of the game, so that's always nice. Okay. Anything to add to that? Mm -hmm. Megan? Um, one thing, Coach Dietrich, he's been our coach since like literally forever. So it's really, okay. it's easy to get with him and he just always has something for us and always cheering us on. Okay. All right. You have anything to add or no? No. Okay. All right. How about, for, uh, yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah. How about for the guys? So anything that stands out about the coaches? Obviously you talked about the similes, but what about you, Caden? Um, what stands out? Just their connection with the players. Like in the game, they're, we can get yelled at and be able to take it well and just know that they're trying to okay. do good. Okay. Jeremy, anything to add? I'd say they just keep us grounded, focus on the basics. Okay. I mean, you know, it's not always easy when you've had some success to you can sometimes get ahead of yourself. They do a good job of keeping us in our place and just focus on the basics of just basketball and not making it too complicated. Okay. Good stuff. Again, hey, we're going to be right back after a word. Uh, is it from our sponsors? Actually, just from our promos. Go ahead, Rosie. And now, back to Varsity Roundtable. <laughs> All right, hey, we're back here at the Varsity Roundtable. I, I got to take a minute here to kind of read some promos here, uh, if you if you don't mind. Here, as I kind of look for them already. By the way, you like what I'm wearing here? This is by Cooney's Embroidery and Sportswear. Get your team, club, or business name out there with Cooney's Embroidery and Sportswear. They customize uh, products specifically to fit their customers' needs. Family owned for 20 years too, so they have the skill, they have the experience to customize your apparel and spread the word about your organization. Delivery service is now available. So contact them today at 920-731-0922 or on the net, on the webs, Cooney's0922 at sbcglobal.net. Here's, I'm kind of looking for my, oh, here we go. By the way, Cellcom, they're also one of our sponsors here. They got a promotion going on this week. Save $150 on tablets and watches. Cellcom is here to help you with your savings and fitness resolutions. Save $150 on tablets uh, and smartwatches to download your favorite fitness apps, stream videos from your favorite fitness gurus and track your workout activity. Visit cellcom.com slash save for uh, details. By the way, does any of you guys have Twitter accounts? Because if you do, now's the time to get it out there so people can follow you. Jeremy, you wanna, uh, if you can remember it. Uh, Jeremy underscore Lorenz 32. Okay, Kaden. Uh, mine's at Kaden Holly 5. That's simple, I like it. McKenna? I think it's just McKenna Dietrich. That's even simpler. How about for you, Megan? Megan Schumann I two. like this. This okay. is very, oh wait, Megan Schumann two. Two, two. Okay, all right, how about for you, Elena? I believe mine's just Elena Schwan as well. So. Wow, I like this. Mine's at Ricardo De Leon. Don't forget about Rosie at uh, Metal Rosie and uh, Brett at PC. Brett C. Um, I want to do the, the the Packers show, Brett, but it's over, right? So we don't really have to We're done. we don't have to promo that anymore. Um, by the way, I want to remind you guys: shout outs at the end of the show, right? So think about who you want to send some love to. Don't be swayed because you got teammates and coaches over here. It's got to be from the heart. All right. Okay, we got a question, Brett, from online. Looks like you're ready to go. Not sure if it's a question. It's a Facebook. Uh comment uh, Matea Schlender does that sound familiar <laughs> okay. uh, looking for a birthday shout out uh. oh, happy birthday <laughs> okay there, there it is go. there you go happy birthday Matea somebody uh, uh, Ricardo on the chat wants to talk about post high school at college commits all yeah. that stuff I know it's on there but also biggest lion fan wants to know what upcoming game are you looking forward to the most upcoming game you're looking forward to the most we'll start with the guys here Jeremy um probably just at Keel at Kiel, okay. They're a good team, and I know they've got us circled on their calendar multiple times over yeah. the round. So okay, Caden. I agree with you. Same thing. At Kiel. All right, good stuff. Okay, McKenna. Tomorrow night. 
Who, who you play? New Holstein. Oh, it's New Holstein again comes up. The Huskies are right. same thing for you, Megan. Yeah, that or Freedom. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, yes, Freedom. And how about for you? Yeah, and we got Oosberg coming up too, so that'll be a good one too. That is Oosberg, Flying Dutchman or Dutch Women, right? When it's the girls' team. Uh, let's talk about. Actually, I want to play the game, Brett, if that's okay, because I want to make sure we get this in here. It's time for a how well do you know game, and now I'm gonna pit the girls versus the boys. All right, now, Brett. Sometimes this is get a little heated here, but it shouldn't though. Because our subject today, now everyone should know about this, right? You like to listen to the radio or, or oh your, your, right, it's music. Music oh is the subject. So uh, some of you guys raise your eyebrows a little bit. Is this something you well, you know well, Megan? No, I, maybe I'm not. not much of a radio, more of a Spotify girl. Well, well, you know, but it's yeah. music in general, though. We're talking about artists and things like that. Some of it's recent, some of it's not so recent. Uh, you may or may not get help from your teammates on this, but I will say that it is, again, girls versus boys. Now the questions, there's five of them, then I have a bonus one, but the five questions, they start easy and they get progressively more difficult. Okay, we got Brett over there, he's gonna keep track, right? I'll do my best. So here we go. You guys have bragging rights for the rest of the year, whoever wins, boys or girls, all right? So just let you guys know that. Okay, here's our question. Question number one, and just raise your hand if you think you know it, all right? So we don't have a bell or anything like that, so just raise your hand. Okay, here we go, here's question one. Subject is pop music. He's known as the king of pop. Who is he? Oh, I stumped him on the easiest question already. <laughs> yes. Did I really do that? <laughs> Michael Jackson. Yes! Come on. Boys. <laughs> what? He did the Michael Jackson. Yeah. 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 Sound. Yeah. Michael Jackson. One nothing. Boys. Good hurt. job. Jeremy just, it just kind of came out of out of nowhere. Oh. Insight. It's yeah, incredible. Out of nowhere. Right. Popped into his that head. was my easiest question. Now you guys got me all worried. <laughs> all right. Well, okay. Here. All right, maybe this will maybe this will connect a little bit more. Okay, second question. Her album, 25 is the name of it, set the record for the fastest selling album of all Taylor time. Taylor Swift. No. Oh. <laughs> so now you girls can hear, hear, I'll say the question again and it's complete. Adele. <laughs> Boom. Yes, wow. Good yes. job. Again. Good, good guess by Jeremy though. It was a good guess by you. By the way, that was the guess by. That was my guess. Yeah, yeah. back when I was reading these questions too. Hey, we're tied at 1-1. Good job, Elena. And again, that just kind of came to you. I right, find that yeah. amazing, by the way. <laughs> it just kind of comes to her. Question number three. Again, these questions get progressively more difficult. All right. We got our tied 1 1. Question three. This artist has the most number one hits by any female artist. Oh, I stumped them again. Taylor Swift. No, I was going <laughs> to give a hint, but you already. No, no. Here's a hint. She's primarily. From the 80s. Madonna. Madonna. Yes! Again, it came out of nowhere. <laughs> Two one guy. Two one guy. And Ricardo, yeah. hands are not being raised, so the rules are yeah. not being followed. Yeah, I'd rather right you now. raise your hands, Ooh. but it didn't matter. Megan got it wrong. People so. are watching. <laughs> <laughs> I was told. Exactly. All right. Two one guys, question number yeah. four. And, and this is real recent, okay? This country artist. Currently, this week, for actually it's last week, had the number one hit on the Billboard charts. She had the number one hit. Can you, you can either name the artist or the name of the song. Number one last week on number one on the Billboard country charts. Nobody, I think I stumped them this time. Yes, Jeremy. Laney Wilson. Yes, Laney yeah. Wilson. I don't even know who that is. Three one guys. Heart Let's like go. a truck is the number one song on the Billboard charts. You guys know that song, Laney Wilson? Heart like a truck. That's pop. Well, it's pop country. music. He said country. Oh. country. Oh. Okay. And then I did say yeah, it was country. Sorry. She's, she's like getting me for particulars here. Uh, didn't compare. All right, so yeah. three one guys. Come on, girls, you can do this. All right, question. No, it's not over. I'll tell you why. Because question number five. <laughs> question number five. Now Michael Jackson's Thriller has sold 34 million albums, making it the second best selling album of all time. Which album is number one? By the way, this album has sold 38 million albums. I'll give you a hint. This artist is from the 70s. Can I give you the band? You can, huh, what was that? Can I give you the band? Yeah, the band, it's the band, band artist. ACDC. Great guess, Very but good guess. no. <gasps> Very good guess. She actually ACDC was like I think mm -hmm. one of the top four of all time sold albums. Uh, I thought maybe the adults would help out a little bit here. 
You guys got any guess, boys? I, I think I might be able to get this one. Okay. <laughs> give me a little give time. Give me a little time. Okay. We don't have that much time. But again, the art, the ba it's a band from the 70s. Band from the 70s. I have a question. Yes. <laughs> Are phones allowed to be Googled? Uh, you, know, you, know, you don't have don't your phone answer. on the other answer. From other places? Uh, no, I can't, no I guess we, I don't know, we didn't oh, have any oh, rules on that. Oh. Yes. Beatles. Oh! You guys oh, are the best. I have my hand up! You guys are the best. Is that your answer? Up. Yes. Wrong. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Question's thrown out. The question's thrown oh. out. Three, oh. one. The, the Eagles. Yeah. Oh. That's what I'm, you misheard me. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I heard Beatles. Beatles, Beatles yeah. Yeah, Beatles, Eagles, kind of similar. Three, one, guys, though. But hey, you know what's, what's interesting, though? Is I have a bonus question. That bonus question, by the way, worth three points. Isn't that convenient? Isn't that convenient? So you're winning 3-1, but you guys can win if you get this. Here's the question, okay? All right, raise your hand. Remember, if you know this, the bonus question, how many members of the Beatles can you name? Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. Whoever answers the most wins. Can we go collaborate with the squad? Well, she raised her hand first, so wow. Megan has first dibs. Go ahead, Megan. John. Paul. <laughs> George. Jones. Jones. Jones? Jones? George. Yeah, George. and then, is that it? Wrinkle. No. <laughs> Wrinkle! That's what they were saying. It's Wrinkle. He kind of is now, isn't he? Huh? He's got, he's got a lot of wrinkles. He's got a lot of wrinkles now. Rango. Whoa, phone. Camera. Camera. Well, we're going to give it to the curls, All right. but it's not Rango, it's Ringo. Yeah. R Rango was that little chameleon on the cartoon. John, Paul, George, and Ringo. There yeah, so go. congratulations, girls. Hey, the girls won. Right. Two, one, four, three. Were my questions too hard? Were they too hard? Yeah. Okay, thank you for the crowd, though. You, everyone here is very, very good at this. By the way, you guys have any questions for your teammates? We're wrapping up the show kind of soon. No? I'm Okay, pre-game rituals. That was actually that was one of my questions I was asked. We're gonna do it right now. Pre-game rituals, personal and or team, if you have them. Jeremy, you gotta listen uh, to little Bieber. No, no, no. Okay. I go home, eat, and then I take a about hour fifteen nap, and then I wake up, get ready, and then just go to the school and shoot around and stuff. And <laughs> That's a long nap, isn't it? I thought naps were supposed to be 20 nap, minutes yeah. long or something. Right, he's, he's really going out, knocked out. All right, how about for you, Caden? Um, after school, I always had the quick trip, get something to eat <laughs> okay. back home. Always have to stop at quick trip before the game. All right, quick trip, not one of our sponsors. Nope. Uh, okay, good stuff. Do you guys have anything team-wise you guys do? Not really, no. No? Okay, all right. For the girls, we'll start over there with Elena. Yeah. Personal and then a team one. Okay. I always have a little Gatorade before the game and trail yeah. mix. Okay. And then... When we're coming out of the locker room, we hit our sign that says, Brilliant doesn't be brilliant. Oh, nice. I like that. Okay, how about for you, Megan? Um, it's kind of a recent tradition, but we do a 30 second, or 30, or, well, depends. One minute plank and then 10 push ups. Well, if we, before the, <laughs> you know. Before the game? Yeah. Okay. Is that just to warm you up, or? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Too bad the camera wasn't low. I'd have Megan mm -hmm. demonstrate oh, yeah. the plank. Uh, but interesting. That, that, that is the most unique one we've seen so far. Everyone does it, or you just do it? There's some of us do it. Okay, some of yeah. us do it. Okay, interesting. How about for you? Yeah. Uh, home games, we always have a team meal. Okay. And for personal, for away games, I just have Subway every time. Okay, which, which sub? It's different. Oh, it is different. Okay, I thought maybe. <laughs> see, I thought the, the superstition would be the same one oh, every no. time. And then who, who, do you guys just have it at somebody's house or at Crip Trip? <laughs> no, we have it at meal. someone's house. Okay, all right. <laughs> just checking. All right, you guys have any questions? We're wrapping up real soon. Girls, everyone seemed to be so eager. And everyone's now shy. Brett, <laughs> fondest memory of the year? Favorite fun memory of the year. We'll start with the boys, because uh, who was the gentleman with the long hair? Austin over? Schwartz. Austin Schwartz. Also a Schwartz. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the curly thing going on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, you want to start? Yeah, I can. Um, well, on Monday, we had off of school, so as a team, we went down to the Bucks game. and. Oh, cool. Had some team bonding down uh, there. And Halliburton wasn't playing. Or no, Giannis, right? Or Giannis. That, that Bucks was got tough. the win, though. Yeah, they did. That's true. All right. And so that, that was uh, for you two. That was actually what I was going to say, yeah. But you okay. Just car rides, okay. Culver stops, learn some information I didn't previously know. So yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Good time to catch up. All right. Good stuff. Okay. Now for the girls, we'll start with Megan, then go to Elena, back over to McKenna. Go ahead. Uh, probably when we watch film and we have some comments about 
some players. <laughs> <laughs> Opposing players, you mean? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. There are some okay. interesting ones, yeah. Yeah, okay, interesting. Do you want to give some examples at all? Or? No. No, no. <laughs> okay, Elena. <laughs> She's like, no. All right, uh, Elena, do you agree or, or what would what, you yeah. say? Yeah, and we played at the Herd Arena versus okay. Algoma. That was fun. That was a fun experience. Oh, wow. Super cool. Yeah. How about for you, McKenna? Um, yeah, I agree with them. And last year, our bus ride to our sectional or uh, semifinal, section, sectional semifinal. Okay. The bus ride. That's that cool. was awesome. All right, good stuff. Brett, we're wrapping up, right? Uh, do you have something from Well, one more uh, anonymous wants to know, toughest individual player you've played against in high school? That's a good question. And that don't forget about the post-high school question here, too. Yes, that is a great question. Yeah, we'll talk about the grad thing. Uh, toughest player you've gone against? We'll start over here with Elena. Can't say teammates. I'm talking about opposing players. <laughs> okay. There's a few in the conference that are always... Olivia Hurl graduated yes. last year. She was very good. Chilton. She always brought her best for us, so yeah. Okay, McKenna. Oh, I'm sorry, Megan, and then McKenna. <laughs> um, I would probably say Grace Shizzle. She's a really good shooter, so it's hard to defend her. Okay, McKenna. I don't really have a specific one, I guess. Yeah. Just any good big post player. Okay, all right, interesting. Jeremy. Hmm. Might have to go with uh, Dawson Schmidt from Shy Acton. Right. He can score the ball really well and just pose a lot of threats on offense. Yep. Big time player for them. How about for you, Kate? Um, Luke Pouts. Oh. He kind of did a lot of stuff for Rock 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 yeah. last year, and it was tough to guard him. I like, yeah, he was, a, he was a heck of a player. I really liked him a lot. Led them to, was that, did they win the state championship last year? They won state, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. they did. Um, oh, yeah, talk about your uh, next year. Where are, you, where are you going to college, all that stuff? And uh, just give us your future plans here. Uh, we'll start over here with Jeremy. Just let us know where you're going to go play. Uh, I'm going to Wofford College okay. in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Mm hmm um, why, why did that work for you? Why, why, why Wofford? Uh, I mean, the, the coaching staff was really supportive from day one and just really expressed how much they wanted me more than anyone, really. Okay. Um, and then the campus is great, obviously. I mean, that South, South Carolina, Carolina weather, weather is yeah, yeah, too I mean, bad. And, um, but just they play the way that I like and okay. think will help me be successful. Okay, great stuff. For Caden, are you, are you looking to play at that? Yeah, uh, I committed to Ripon College. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, good college. Now, why, why did Ripon work for you there? Um, well, I like the school part of it. Okay. Great academic side and just given the opportunity to play there as well, so kind of fit everything for me. Sure. Red Hawks, good stuff. All right. Plan on playing the next level? Or have you committed or anything? Or? No, I haven't. Okay. Um, haven't really decided which college I'm going to yet either. Okay. All right. How about for you, Megan? <laughs> Um, I'll play at Winona State University next year. Um, I'm, I kind of chose them just because I knew their coaching, coaching staff. They yeah. were super sweet and they were super flexible when it was like arranging a visit for me. Yeah. And the campus is just beautiful. It so. is. It is mm -hmm. right there on the Mississippi River. How about for you, Elena? I'm going to St. Norbert to oh. study marketing. So. Okay, good stuff. Thank you for <laughs> sharing uh, your immediate future, Brett. We almost wrap it up here. Let's should we wrap that up here. Yep. Let, let's let's we're good do. To go. I have one more question, but let's do our shout outs. Okay. So some some love. Send some love out to people who got you where you are today. We're gonna start with the girls. Finish with the guys. Start way over there with Elena. Uh, Rosie, which camera? They look at the ones right above. Now don't let your teammates influence you. You gotta beat it from the heart, Elena. So go ahead. Send your shout outs. Yeah. Obviously my teammates and coaches, and then my family, grandma and grandpa, coming to every game. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, again, coaches, family, um, Grant and Garrett, they're okay. sat on bus <laughs> next to me. Okay. Yeah, always cheering for us. Okay, cool stuff. Okay. Uh, kinda... Mom and dad and older brothers, uh, obviously my my playmate, or my teammates. And also a shout out to Liv Shue, couldn't be here today. Oh, okay, yeah. cool, good. Good, good to get her in. Okay, Jeremy, go ahead. Uh, I'd say just family. Um, well, I'll, I'll say teammates and coaches too, and then just my family, extended family, and. If you've ever been to one of our games, you might have seen I got like half the bleachers <laughs> sectioned off with just my family members. Okay. So a lot of support from me. Okay. Good stuff. Caden. Um, just family and then coaches and teammates, whether it's at Brilliant or with the Wisconsin Crusaders where I played AAU. Okay. And then James always in the locker room helping out. <laughs> okay. All right, good stuff. We're wrapping up here. This is my final question. And, and, and I don't, I'm not going to put you guys on the spot. Actually, I kind of am. Look, I'm going to be at the Resch Center. I have to cover a lot of teams. I, I'm going to cover some teams from our area, some from the Central Group, uh, Green Bay, all the way down to Fond du Lac, blah, 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 Laconia, whoever makes it. Um, 
I also am at the Kohl Center, as you know, I covered you guys there last year. Am I going to see your teams there? Okay, I'm, I, so I guess I'm kind of putting you on the spot. You don't have to give me details, just give me that confidence. Elena, are you guys going to be there? Uh, God willing, yeah. Am I going to be covering you? Okay, how about for you, Megan? 100%. Oh, I like yeah. this. McKenna? Yes. All right. See, that's confidence. That is confidence. That's all I want to see. Coaches, that's okay, right? It's okay to have confidence. Jeremy, we're going to see you back there again. Make me travel all the way to Madison. I love it. Am I going to be covering you guys? Hopefully, if we keep working and getting better and playing well, hopefully we'll see you down there. All right, Caden. Of course. Do that job. Okay, good stuff. Thank you so much. Hey, give your, give your guys or, and girls a round of applause. That was a great show. Thank you again to McKenna Dietrich, Megan Schumann, Elena Schwan, did I say that right? Kaden Holly, and Jeremy Lorenz uh, of, <laughs> of the Brilliant Girls and Brilliant Boys uh, basketball teams, respectively. Thank you so much for taking time out. Best of luck, and I do hope I see you guys there at the respective state tournaments. I want to let everyone know next week who's going to be on the show. We're not entirely sure, so be sure to check out Facebook.com slash Varsity Roundtable. That's where you'll find out who's going to be on our show next Wednesday at seven o'clock. So until next week, again, for the Brilliant Girls basketball team, for the Brilliant Boys basketball team, and Rosie, get it on them all. One more time, the group, there you go. Thank you so much for being on the round table. And hey, we'll see you back here again uh, next Wednesday for another episode of the Varsity Roundtable.